Hi lovelies and welcome back to the channel. In today's vlog, I'm just going to be talking you through my week. I'm starting this off on a Saturday and as a typical cow Saturday, um, I turned in an online class and I'm also trying to make some akara on the side. You guys, how has your week been? I've had the most eventful week so far this year. I'm also trying to clear up the kitchen as well. Alright, so I'm sure you guys, well, the OGs on the channel have seen me prep my beans for Agara quite a few times. And this is the only way that I do it for now. So I've put my beans and some water, cold water, into my food processor and given that a good blitz and also soaked the beans for about 30 minutes and just got it soft and i put that in the blender with some warm water and some pepper onion and ginger i'm giving that a blend and then i'm adding some eggs into that just to help the beans rise and i've given that a good whisk before i started portioning it into my hot oil and this is how the akara comes out every single time it comes out really fluffy also one thing i've noticed is that i try to whisk the beans in between scoops so it keeps its shape i highly recommend this method because my akara comes out banging every single time hi lovelies and welcome back to the channel it, it is sunday and i it's just one of those days when i don't feel like cooking so i just had one very shade bowl of gary gary and kuli kuli anyway you guys i'm about to have a power nap and then i'm going to do some work so i have a couple of products to review today and some of them i need my husband for so i'm just taking advantage of the one day that we're home together all right you guys so you are welcome to the channel if this is your first time here don't be a stranger remember to click on the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you always get notified every single time we upload a new video don't be a stranger i forgot to draw eyeliner like that black that black thing under here i forgot to draw that when i was using gels and it doesn't even make a difference anyway you guys full fit My lovely bag from Antwall and my two piece from Laura Girl. What? <laughs> What's in your mouth? See, in your mouth. It's kulu kulu. Kulu kulu. It's not. It's not, not kulu kulu. It's kulu kulu. Anyway, you guys, spring is spring, you know. I'll see you guys in the course of the vlog. Three days later, the boys are on their way out. Well, they've already gone, and you guys, the whole of yesterday, I was doing back breaking work i was off yesterday and i'm off today as well i've been rearranging the whole house i've redone the living room i've redone my room the boys room but i have a mountain of clothes to sort out you guys i've just been washing clothes and putting them in a pile i don't know if there's any mother on this planet earth that does not do this because i'm i just don't know the laundry just keeps creeping up on me and before i know it i have a pile to sort out i'm even embarrassed to show you what it looks like at this point but it's just here on the floor i put it here last night also in my defense there is a king size duvet with what you're seeing so just bear that in mind when you are judging me all right so this is the duvet and i have all of this to sort out bear in mind that this is about two or three weeks worth of laundry so be merciful in your judgments okay most of them are like jackets and thick clothes, like what I'm wearing, like hooded blankets and things like that. Besides, <sighs> there are a couple of blankets and throw blankets as well in all of this pile, so it should not take that long, Abby. Well, let's see. It honestly didn't take long at all. I think I finished this pile in about 15 to 20 minutes. It wasn't that much of a big deal. And it almost makes me wonder every single time why I let this thing just pile on. Well, I don't know. It just keeps happening. Anyway, you guys, as soon as I was done sorting out most of this fleece, it was just right down to blouses and things like that. But yeah, I moved on to the next task of the day, which was to make my children scream. I believe I said that in my last video that I was going to show you guys how I make their cream. And this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. So my husband got this huge tub of original shea butter from amazon and it came the next day 
chestnut so i've just cut up a really large chunk of that and i have portioned it up just to make it melt down a bit quicker i'm also adding some coconut oil and some extra virgin um, olive oil into that i'm just going to let that melt and come to like uh, one boil before i take it off the heat i'm using the double boiler method here and i'm just making sure that it comes to a boil gently i'm taking that off the heat once everything is all melted and then i'm going to be adding my essential oils i'm adding some baby powder bubble gum um, orange blossom and eucalyptus oil i didn't really measure this i just eyeballed it and stirred it till it was you know given really lovely smells and i put that in the fridge for a couple of minutes just so that it has started to harden on the sides i gave that a quick whisk down just to incorporate some hair into that and then i put it back into the fridge until it was um fully solid divide and once that was done i just gave that a whisk until it had doubled in size and you guys this thing was giving really lovely aromas and it was permeated permeated the whole house like my whole house smelled like a factory of bubble gum it was the bubble gum flavor that was very predominant and yeah it filled up two um of this epimax container south africans look the other way look the other way these are the creams that i brought in for the boys from south africa when we came in in 2011 and you guys this thing was moisturizing and i'm so glad that i got to do this and um, this is going to last for a while all right so as soon as i got all my major tasks out of the way i just went ahead to do my skincare and basic body functions like brushing and bathing on this particular day it was time to shave my face i don't know if i've told you guys that i do this at least once a month and it just helps my skin look glowing like I, I all i do is just put some um face wash on my face and give my face a scrub and then i go in with this um tool this is a face scraper that i got i got this um about six of them on Shein, and yes it takes off all of my dead skins and facial hair and it just helps my skin look very glossy you guys will get to see that in a couple of slides i'm also going in with this um slow sunday clay mask and i'm going to leave that on for about 15 minutes and then i'll have my bath and then it is time to get ready for the rest of the day all right so this leads us to our sponsor of today this video has highly been sponsored by shein wigs they have sent me this really lovely wig this is a human hair um a wig it comes pre-cut pre-plucked and all you have to do is pop it on and go today i'm going to be putting some curls in the hair because i just feel like and i feel like it's going to give me a different look and you guys will get to see that in a couple of slides so i got this curler from shein as well i love the curls that uh, i eventually got at the end of the day it was going to be a long thing to you know curl the whole hair so i just decided to go for the ends and yeah this is what the ends are looking like uh, i just did some loose curls on the parameters of the wig um you guys can get to see the link of this hair it will be in my description box you also get some amazing discounts when you use my unique code as displayed on your screen all right you guys so this is the finished look of the wig i'm just keeping it simple i love these mini curls that i have on the link to this wig will be in my description box as per usual you will also get discount when you use my unique link as displayed on your screen and i'll also leave that in the description box as well thank you again to shein for sponsoring the segment of the video you guys let's get on with the rest of today's video so on days like this when i have a burst of energy i try to do as much as possible i have done quite a lot this particular day and i'm just trying to sort out some more laundry this is a day where i just get all the boys uniforms and house clothes all of our clothes as well and i just try to give them a good wash and air them you guys i have also been putting some of those essential oils in my laundry and it has been giving my laundry some amazing smells i'm just here checking off some things on my to-do list and i'm just going ahead to reward myself with a tall glass of cold ribena 
you guys i absolutely needed this it was not a warm day it was quite freezing but i just needed this drink anyway you guys i'm just going to sit and rest my bones for a while before it is time to make dinner and for dinner we are having okra we're having elasible we have it okra soup and lafon lafon is one of my favorite favorite swallows of all time and in this large pot here i'm just putting some catfish some smoked catfish crayfish and stock this is chicken seasoning and i'm adding some water to that and then i'm adding some onions as well and bring that to a boil in my food processor i'm going to be blending some frozen okra and one large habanero pepper i'm blending this till it is all um, grated together i'm going to set that aside for when i need it i'm also getting some locust beans out of the freezer i'm adding that to my pot here oh this pot is already smelling like you can get the flavor of that catfish and the crayfish now with this iru everything is just you know going together and for this oil okra for this okra i'm going to be using some um titus fish i'm just giving that some sebation and then i'm going to salt it and put that in my microwave um, microwave has a function to grill as well so i've just added some oil to that agitate that very well and just let that go till it is all cooked now while the fish is grilling and our okra is you know coming together i'm just going to go ahead and prep for my lafon lafon is like cassava flour and it comes together really quickly you make it almost the same way you make amala now if you're a witch watcher like myself you find that lafo is not as filling as amala so it's not something that will cause you to be constipated after you've had it it's really light unlike you know the amala pounded yam and even eba so yeah i really love lafo anyway you guys thank you so much for your comments on my last video i honestly cannot wait for another getaway it is such a relaxing thing to do i absolutely loved that time off and yeah back to reality anyway once our water is red hot enough i just go ahead and i start to add my flour in and you know stay as i go just in case anyone is wondering why i didn't do the fish in the air fryer that's because it always sets my smoke alarm off and i honestly can't be bothered to keep going off and on with that thing so i just do it in the microwave it's a lot easier so i've just gone ahead to add some leftover grilled chicken to the pot and then my okra mix and i'm giving that a quick stir and uh, fish is done at this time so i'm just going to add some more dry pepper some chicken seasoning cubes and then i'll add my fish into the pot to give that a quick stir and i usually don't like my okra to get overdone so at this time our uh, lafu is also ready after the first beating i'm just going to give it the final beating and it is ready to be served up at this point i'm just going to add my last thing to my okra soup which is my palm oil give that a quick stir and i'm going to take the pot off the pot, the burner this was dinner it was absolutely delicious i don't know if you guys are going to be trying this method but if you are please let me know i would love to see your creations on instagram remember to tag me as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye